Member for Chuswap. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise in the House today to recognize a very special group of workers. With over 100 different trades available in BC, apprenticeships play a key role in delivering skilled tradespeople to meet the needs of, our tra of training our workforce. November is Apprenticeship Recognition Month, a time to highlight the importance of trades careers in BC. The Industry Training Authority has embarked on an apprenticeship awareness campaign, Apprentice Now, aimed at showing the real world value that skills trades bring to our province. Bakers, barbers, boilermakers, cabinet makers, carpenters, and cooks, motorcycle mechanics, meat cutters, machinists, power engineering, plumbers, and who knows, maybe one day we might even see a training program for politicians. Now, despite their vital importance to our everyday lives and the incredible opportunities available through the trades, apprenticeship training oftentimes lacks the recognition and the appreciation it truly deserves and the demand for skilled trades workers in BC continues to grow. According to the 2019 Labour Market Outlook, 73,000 job openings are expected in trades through 2029. A lot of these job openings are the result of many of our skilled tradespeople retiring, which is why apprenticeships are so vitally important to our province as they help build and inspire the next, next generation of skilled tradespeople. Trades continue to be underrepresented by women. Indigenous Canadians and cultural minorities. Only 10% of BC apprentices are currently women, with only 7% of BC apprentices being Indigenous. Now, I also want to take a moment to recognize and honour those who are instrumental in encouraging young British Columbians to pursue careers and trades. In my own school district, people like Reed Finley, Michelle Hall, Curtis Bellows, Doug Brown, Greg Seed, and John Quilty are invaluable for encouraging and guiding our students to develop the skills, knowledge, and passion they need to pursue careers in the trades through the district's career education and applied design skills and technology programs. So would the House please join me in recognizing all the incredible people who are helping to raise the next generation of tradespeople, including the apprentices, their educational institutions and teachers, sponsoring employers, and the regulatory bodies that oversee the training and certification of our tradespeople. And join me in wishing all British Columbians in the trades a great Apprenticeship Recognition Month.